Bobby Lashley, the number one contender for the WWE Championship. This my time is like wasting my money. And I don't like when I waste my money. It's anybody's game. And for that WWE Championship, I had to fight, I had to go to war, I had to kick three men asses last night at Vengeance to earn this moment for over 16 years to get to that WWE Championship. This is my house. When people come out here and disrespect me, disrespect this ring, they are messing with my property. And there's one guy around here who thinks who can throw, who thinks he run this place and he make me looking bad. He making my. I don't want to hear what MVP have to say. I know MVP likes our truth. I know Shelton Benjamin things are true is gonna win but he's not gonna win he's not gonna win this match this Sunday at Bad Blood because I'm gonna spear him I'm gonna hurt him and break him apart the hell? What's Ricochet? I mean, Ricochet is a number one contender as well. He won the damn Fatal, fatal Five-Way match a few weeks ago. So I last he won last night in the Fatal Four-Way match, and he won in the Fatal Five-Way match. I'm sorry. But I couldn't, I couldn't stand back there and listen to you ramble on any longer. You're putting the universe to sleep. And that's not why they spent their hard-earned money to come here tonight. They came here tonight to see a fight. And I don't understand how you're a number one contender when I won my match a few weeks ago. And a number one contender match a few weeks ago. So I don't know how the hell it managed to be two number one contenders because nobody likes you. Nobody give a damn if you're the number one contender. Everybody forgot about that match. Everybody remember what, what I did last night. That's all that matters. Yeah, you won your first match. Your debut. And it was a number one contender match. But like I said, the university stupid fans like to see me as WWE Champion. I was backstage. From your mouth, we all hear you talk a lot. And I'm glad. I'm glad that you're speaking for yourself, and I'm speaking like a little bitch, <laughs> and not for MVP to well, speak I for you. Shit. About what it means for Brock Lesnar, the Brock. WWE World WWE Champion, to be. But I've heard the. My body don't. They want to see me as WWE Champion. Me, me, me. I, I, one, one, one. Blah, blah, blah. You're wasting my goddamn time. Wasting my damn time. Because I have better things to do. And it's a title shot. This Sunday at Bad Blood. So you better get the hell out of my face What's before you. Locker room and all the concerns. And heck, some of the guys, Brock, some of the guys are even a little afraid to step into the ring with Brock Lesnar. But I'm, I'm not, not afraid to step into that ring with you. I'm not. I want you to know that I am not afraid to challenge you to a fight right now. Oh shit! <laughs> and see who's the number one contender really is. You want to fight, huh? I would like. I would like that. In fact, there's nothing I want more. Than to kick your ass in front of all these people and all these stupid fans at home. I will be you all over this arena if I have to. I'm ready to learn to go. We just. No. You see, I'm not gonna give you what you want. I'm giving this some thought. But if you're scared, just say that you're scared. 
focus. You don't got the mic skills. You don't got the ability. You don't got the ring skills. Scared. I told her, it's getting no. Oh my! And it happened about Bobby Lashley and all hell breaking loose between Ricochet and Lashley. Damn! And all hell breaking loose. But who, who's the damn number one contender? The other damn Ricochet and our Lashley. Damn, all hell breaking loose and a Ricochet with a counter. Ricochet, and oh my God, oh, right, kick right to the face of Lashley with a clothesline. The Ricochet, all hell breaking loose here on Monday Night War.